Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. What is that? I don't think it's a queenfish. What is this? I don't think it's a queenie. What is it? It's not coming up. What is it? Come on. Uh, it's not a queenfish. I think it's a little tuna. Oh no, it's a big queenfish. It's a big queenfish. Holy smokes, it's a nice queenfish. Can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. I gotta go over there. I gotta go over there. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, there goes that fish. Gone. <laughs> that was a big queen fish. Can't bring in a GT, can't bring in a queen fish. What are you gonna do? Still on the beach? Our makeshift tent is away. We put that away. What other updates do I have to hit you guys with? I lost a queen fish this morning. Didn't get a GT. Slack tied. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> This right here was our casting zone yesterday where we caught those queen fish. Now it's our fishing zone. It's underwater completely. We've got a really nice high tide coming in completely opposite from yesterday. And we're gonna start fishing. Yesterday, or this morning, I, I flubbed up pretty hard. I missed a nice queenie. What are you gonna do? We actually didn't get the GT action we expected in the morning, but we're gonna try this nasty little ledge, see if there's any fish. That's a J, bro. Oh, Tavi! Why do you want to move over here? Come on! What is that? Yeah, jump in. Yeah. I got bumped. There we go, I'm on, I'm on, oh! He came off. Oh, he's on, he's back on. Come on, come on, fish! Yeah, he's off. Oh no, he's still on, he's still on, he's still on. Oh, oh. Nah, he's still on, he ran out. Look at his man. Look at your fucking pack, man. I don't know why that's What is it? Oh, I think it's a side. What? I think it's a side hooked queenie. Side hooked yeah, queenie. queenie. It's on the reef now. No, no, you're right, he's on the reef. He's up. He can't be running too much. Yes, John. That's all side. Golly! I've got that. Ugh! I was outside, I don't have time for a jump in and I got me. 
Oh. <sighs> Woo! Come here. Woo! I think it's side hooked. You want to land in? <sighs> oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. What the hell? That was weird. He might be getting shot. Uh, there he is. Smoking, uh, smoking. <laughs> if you want to land in here, smoking, otherwise move. Uh, you can land in here. He's coming out here. Woo! Holy shit, John. Whoa. Oh my Whoa. god! What? That was amazing! He swam up, like, at the rock. That was so that weird! He's swimming out here! <laughs> that was so weird! Watch uh, those hooks, bro! Put it away, coming! Watch those hooks! Okay. Take the hooks out, you think? Ooh, he's gotten smoked! Big GT! Big GT! Big GT! Big GT. Right there, right there, right there! Throw, 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 throw! He's right there! Who cares? Who cares? I'm gonna throw this back. Okay, big Queenie, big GT, we're gonna throw this back. Go, boys! What the fuck? That's why he was going mental. Solid GT, bro. Like a big one. Smoked a nice little queen fish. Yet another GT sighting right at my feet. The fish that we've been after for days. Literally, I could have scooped down and grabbed him if I had the uh, speed and the strength. The battle for these GTs continues. I'm hoping tomorrow we succeed. Fingers crossed, peeps. Fingers crossed. How you hanging? You doing good? It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Beautiful day for a jerk bait. Came out here for a GT, came back with a little cod. That about sums it up. <laughs> oh man. Yep. Oh, that's too chunky, man. That's alright, keep going. No, no, you're cool, you're cool. Oh, that's too chunky. That's way too chunky. <laughs> you need to mix up a little bit more. It. <laughs> oh, that's really too chunky. What are we doing today? Panties. On the beach? Look at that. Um, in case you're wondering, panties, what he meant by that is uh, pancakes, not actual. Never mind. Um, yeah, so just Brian on the beach right now. I think Ryan's going to get his boat. He's going to bring it back to this here spot, and then we're going to load all of our gear, which is over there, on to the boat, and then we're going to move on. To some different fishing opportunities. I think we might get a little, get a little bit of fishing in that's very, very John B. ish, very Midwestern ish. That being like skipping soft plastics under mangroves, but we'll see. Essentially, the vibe I'm getting right now is the GT mission is finished, complete. I'm really fortunate to have caught that one on day number two because it, they just really didn't show themselves too much shortly after, but that's okay. Life could be a lot worse. Right now, we're on a beach making pancakes, I'm soaking up some rays and it is just so gorgeous here. I love Australia, I can't wait to come back here, but yeah, got my boy Bryant back there whipping up the cakes. Um, in case you guys don't know, that's of course the guy that's been filming behind this camera. This is the first time I've picked up this camera in like days, it feels really weird. Actually, I kinda have to hold it out really far because it's a 24 mil. Anywho, I don't know where the boys are, I think they're taking an aqua dump down yonder, but we're gonna cook up these pancakes and when they come back, they should be ready to go. Oh yeah. Oh my god! It's, bad. it's so bad. But you just you really just need to stick to yeah. filming. Let's just throw, this throw that in the yeah. I think we need some mustard, some ketchup. This is probably not how an Australian needs pancake, right? Like, some ass backward shit like this. Just hold it like that and just ah. no no tomato sauce though. That's actually really good.
foot ties with the ledge. No more big baits, no more GT chasing. We're back in the mangroves right now doing some some twitching. We're doing something that's very similar to bass fishing back home in the Midwest. We're targeting fish that are literally right up and under these mangroves, we're, and we're skipping these little jerk baits in between guts, crevices, anything where these fish could be lurking, and we're giving some twitches, and they're coming right up and out and grabbing it. Theoretically, we haven't had it happen yet, but that's kind of what we're looking for. Totally just readjust our game plan. We're back here. This is fun, I actually like this. Not any big fish, we're not gonna get any like epic giant fish frothing on the rocks, but we should get some hookups. Oh my God, they're all over the place. Oh, 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 o
Anyway, feels good to be back. I'm not gonna lie, I love being out there and fishing and chasing after a fish of a lifetime, but it is good to move on and keep things fresh. So we're gonna get all this rinsed off, all this messed up. I'm gonna rinse myself off because I smell like stank butt. And like I said, we're gonna switch it up and do some different things. I can't believe it's almost over. It's almost not too good. Big. I got make some room for my arm, Oh, it's ribs, bro. Oh, that's crazy. From how many pigs? Multiple. We're <laughs> feasting tonight, boys. No more camp food. We're going in. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys missed it. I'm so wish we had an SD card that was empty out in the creek, but it got freaking hectic out there. It was like, I think probably my fifth or second cast, or fifth or second, sorry, fifth or sixth cast on down this creek. I smoked this fish right here. We managed to at least get a picture of it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we didn't catch it. Uh, matter of fact, we're coming home completely empty handed. We got one more spot after this but i think we're gonna fish it at night correct is that the yeah, yeah yeah it's it's a night fishing spot fish seem to froth there during the night so that's when we're gonna target those fish we're gonna go get something to eat roll on out maybe visit a tackle we might visit that bear at tackle shop that'd be kind of cool just to poke in there <laughs> dude we sucked ass so bad we're done get that stupid camera out of my face brian before i smack it out of your face ah, I'm looking to a We've got one last run for this Australian trip. It may be a bust, it could be a huge success. We got some stuff exactly for that mission, thanks to Barrel World. <laughs> Barrel World, it's crazy. Someone died. Here goes nothing. We're rocking big swim baits. We've upped our gear to some heavier stuff, courtesy of Ryan. And I am guessing maybe this is what you throw for ginormous spare Monday. We're not fishing for little creekies anymore. These are these are big dogs. Sitting down on the rocks right now. I've been fishing for roughly about an hour, maybe two hours. I have no idea. Um, I just busted off on a, an absolute beast. I've got three bites so far, two of which have been short strikes, two of which have been short strikes, and then this last one was enormous. I don't know what happened on the reel. The, the line broke at the reel. Leads me to believe maybe I just flubbed up and either made the drag too much or there was some line issues. That was the biggest bite I think I've ever gotten in my entire life. It's freaking brutal out here though. It's like 25 mile per hour, 30 mile per hour winds, gusts. Luckily and thankfully these Bear Monday are, are built for night feeding. They've got a strong lateral line and I think a little bit of reflective on their eyeballs. So they are pretty heavily in the night feeding scene. The one thing my dad always says is focus on the experience, fish the experience. 
Um, and for many, many months, I tried to figure out what that meant. I thought that just meant like, you know, focus on the fun of fishing. But in reality, after a day like yesterday and this whole trip in general, I've realized that fishing experience just means, you know, focus on the little factors that surround fishing, the people that you're with, the location that you're fishing, the weather, the fact that you're out there fishing and not at a desk, like that's fish the experience. You know, fishing is one thing and the fishing experience the other. So I really had to think to myself, although I really, really wanted to catch a bear of money last night, I was thinking to myself, really, that's not the big picture. The big picture is I'm out here with some good people, um, you know, chasing after fish I've, I've never fished for before. And that's pretty epic in of itself. So yesterday we fished the experience. Hopefully next time in Australia, uh, we really get after these bear monies and then maybe some Murray Cod or like maybe some big GTs. I don't know. But first things first, we gotta get this this thing all packed up and ready to go. Farewell Australia, back to the USA. We've got about 24 hours of traveling under our belt. Really looking forward to that. Before we leave, I gotta give a huge shout out and toast to the Mordentide boys. Gabby and Briggsy, this up and goes for you, bud. Oh, so good. Can't thank Gabby and Briggsy enough for letting me tag along with them. It was an epic journey. Also, a huge shout out to Ryan Wilksey for being basically our guide. And then also Arley Beach Boat Hire for letting us use their rig for the entire week. It's been real. Comment in the comment section below as to where you think we should go next. I'm game for anything. I think the only continent I haven't been to as of this trip, after this trip, is Antarctica. So maybe, maybe that's a thought. Yeah, I know our plane is definitely boarding right now. Thank you guys so much for watching the series. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, keep fishing. Never stop.